Hey, if you're trying to link text down to a section on your Divi website, I'm gonna show you how to add in that link code right now to have it be able to click and smooth scroll down to any section on your Divi page. Hey you guys, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. I'm teaching you today how to go into your Divi page builder and add in the code that can actually link anything, whether it's a picture, a button, or text, even your top level navigation to a certain section on your Divi page. I already have another video that teaches you how to do this on any WordPress website. I'll show you the code that you can add in there. But for now, this tutorial will cover it inside the world of Divi. So the first thing you need to figure out is what part do you want to be clickable? And then where do you want it to go once it's clicked? So for this example, what is it? I want this to be clickable down to this section right? Same thing up at the top level navigation. I want this, what is it? When I click on that, I want it to move down to this section. Once you identify those things, we just need to link them. Here's how that's done. Open up your Divi Builder by clicking on Enable Visual Builder. That should be up at the very top. Now, this is a text box. All I need to do here is add in a link, but to where? Let's start first by going down to the section that you want this to scroll to once it is clicked. And we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to move down to my section and I'm going to click on the blue bar and specifically the gear icon inside that section. Open this up. Really you can do this to any row, any section, any module, but I really want it to move to this full section. You're going to go into advanced and you're gonna open up the CSS ID. And right here is where you need to drop in whatever you wanna name it. And this needs to be unique as well. No other link on your page should have this name. So for the sake of ease, I just named the section what. You'll wanna write these down so that you can recall them in a little bit if you have multiple. Go ahead and click your check mark. And if you have multiple, go ahead and scroll down to that next section and do the same thing. This is how it works. I wanna open up my gear icon, go into advanced, go into the CSS ID and add in whatever title I want. Again, for the sake of ease, I just said how. If you have to name it multiple words, please be sure to add in a dash and don't leave any blanks. Remember, this is ultimately going to be a link. Go ahead and click your check mark. And again, if you have any other sections, go ahead and do that as well. I'm going to actually do this next one on a row setting. Go into the gear icon, go into advanced. You have the same option here for the CSS ID and add in your title. Click your checkbox, open up your three dot menu and go ahead and click save. All that's done. Now what we need to do is go up and actually link your buttons or your text. For my layout here, I have text boxes and all I'm gonna do is open up that text box and instead of adding in the link right here to the words, I want the whole section to be clickable so I'm going to open up link and the module itself will be linked. Now here's what you do. You just add in the word, whatever title you gave that section, but before it you put in a little pound sign. So pound sign what? And click the check mark. For how, I'm going to add in pound sign how right there in the module link URL. And under why it works, of course, the same thing. Open up that gear icon, go into the link and add in pound Y and check. And go ahead and click save. Now if we exit the builder, you should be able to already see it function properly. Exit the builder and let's go in and click on what is it. Scrolls down to that section perfectly. How it works, brilliant. And the last one, why it works, there you go. Now, if you wanted to do this inside of your top level navigation, you can do that as well, depending upon how you built out your header. Uh, if you have a custom header inside of your theme builder, you would go there. For this layout, I did it inside of the default menu area in WordPress. So we'll go into our dashboard, go to appearance and go to menus. Be sure you're on the correct menu that you have and you're going to be looking for custom links. If you don't see that option visible here on this left side, 
you'll want to go to a drawer up here on the top of your page. Right here is Screen Options. Open up that little drawer right there and just be certain that Custom Links is clicked on so that you see that option inside of your dashboard. Once it's there, you can zip that drawer back up and now you're able to add any custom links. You can see I've already done that here and all I've done for the URL is add in the pound sign with that name of the section. So what is it gets linked to pound what? And you're gonna see that same thing. How it works is pound how, and of course, why it works is pound why. If by some chance you needed this to link to a totally different page, to a section, you could simply add in the URL prior to the pound sign, your domain name.com forward slash page name with the pound sign following that, and that should link perfectly for you. But for the single page website, all I need to do is add in those little pound signs, click save, and now your top level navigation will link to those sections. When you go back, you can click on what is it, and it'll zip down how it works and why it works. Y'all, I hope this has been helpful for you. On my channel, I have over 500 videos that will help you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. Please click like and subscribe. Come back here every single Wednesday. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.